This is our solar system here. These are six 200 watt panels and they provide, I've seen on the Outback FM80 charge controller uh, up to 76 amps coming off these batteries at around 13.2 volts. Coming back to the base of the uh, bed, this is our electrical system. Uh, this, this is our 3000 watt pure sine wave go power inverter. And it's run flawlessly. Underneath it is the lithium batteries which aren't very visible. Over here you can see this is the BMS or battery management system for the lithium battery. This thing is a small computer which has a data communications line which goes to all the bridges going across the cells and it measures temperature, voltages and performs the equalization functions. Here is the rest of the board for the battery management system and down here, this is a charge, and this is a discharge solenoid. And these will engage or disengage uh, the way the computer says. Next, we have the solar charge controller. This is an FM80 Outback. It's a lovely charge controller, uh, very configurable. It's a maximum... PowerPoint transfer type. Um, okay. Bug. This white box is basically a battery charger. And if you have a, have a rainy day and you're running the generator and you want to put a little bit of charge in your battery, that will allow it. Okay. This yellow box is a power transfer relay. There's two modes. One is the solar power through the inverter. And the second mode is the generator or outside power. This will switch over. Um, okay, you going? Yeah. External power comes in through the top, and this will energize the relay coil and switch it over to external power. If you disconnect this, the relay will fall back over onto battery power. I just want to show you a drawing of what's inside that box. The shadows are no good. That's here. fine. Okay. Here we have the outside power or the generator. And when that is powered up, it'll energize the coil and make these switches go into the lower position. And then you have the straight through outside power coming to those contacts when when the uh, armature is pulled down so now you're seeing outside power at the output this is distributed to all the loads in the trailer once the generator switches off the relay coil is de-energized and it will go back to the shelf position of the armature which means that the uh, the uh, inverter output is now the active agent powering the trailer. 